These awesome Marvel movie collection figures filling up HMV stores in the UK, they're brand new, right? Wrong. Here's everything you need to know in the who, what and how of the Marvel movie collection appearing in HMV. Hello everyone, MMC fan here and welcome to my next instalment in my Who, What, Huh? series on the Marvel Movie Collection. Today I'm clearing up some misconceptions as to what the HMV run is actually all about and offering some guidance as to whether it's even a good idea. For those not aware or from other countries, HMV is a UK retailer that specialises in music and film. It used to have a huge focus on things like CDs and DVDs, but these days, while it still sells those things, it's more of a destination for vinyl records, audio equipment, Funko Pops, posters and other pop culture items. Most recently, this includes a ton of repackaged Eagle Moss products, including the Marvel Movie Collection. So in August, September kind of time in 2020, funnily enough, shortly just after sales of Eagle Moss products left WH Smith and moved to online only, uh, the Hero Collector branch of Eagle Moss announced that some of its collections would be stocked in HMV. These include, but aren't limited to, the Wizarding World figures, the WWE collection, the Marvel movie collection, Batman Decades, Sonic the Hedgehog, Rick and Morty, and large box sets featuring some of the Doctor Who ones and some of the Ghostbuster figures as well. Recently, the Marvel Museum collection has also been launched and mega figures are also sold online too. So it's quite a broad range. For the rest of this video, I'm just going to talk about the Marvel movie collection, but all of these have undergone the same process of being repackaged, repriced, and then sold in HMV stores and on the HMV website. So here's what's happened with the Marvel movie collection. These were originally sold once a fortnight in numbered issues, which started at $12.99 each and they now cost $15.99 each and they come with a 16-page magazine, which is around A4 size. They came in basic window boxes and were hand-painted 116 scale figures in metallic resin. At time of posting, this line is still going, with issue 129 having just come out. For HMV, they have lifted some of the more popular figures from this collection, removed the numbering, and packaged them in these new Funko Pop style boxes that kind of show off the figure at the front. They have also shrunk the magazine down to A5 and then stuck it to the back of the box. The figures themselves are the same size, they're the same material, and they come with the same certificate of authenticity inside, so it's literally just the presentation that has changed. HMV have also marked up the price to $16.99 each, despite having the smaller magazine, but this is not unusual for HMV stores, they would usually put an extra couple of quid on everything that they sell. The originals with the cheap price tag and larger magazine are still readily available with next day delivery from the Eagle Moss web shop, obviously stock depending, so it's interesting that you can now buy them from both places for different prices. Wave 1, which started to appear in August and through September of 2020, featured Iron Spider, which was formerly issue 88, Black Panther from Civil War, which was issue 28, Captain America in his Winter Soldier suit, which was issue 17, Ant-Man, which was issue 15, Iron Man from Civil War, which was issue 31, and Teen Groot, which was originally issue 84. They also released three special editions at the same time, Hulk, Korg and Thanos from Infinity War for a standard special price of $25.99. For Hulk, this was a £4 markup compared to buying the original from Eagle Moss directly, but the other two are identically priced on Eagle Moss's online shop because from Eagle Moss themselves, they price a special depending on how big they deem it to be rather than just one standard price. And then about a month later, Wave 2 was released, which featured Falcon, which was formerly issue 44, Black Widow, which was issue 2, Hawkeye, which was issue 25, Captain Marvel, which was issue 97, Nick Fury, which was issue 6, and War Machine, which was issue 11. Issue 32, Doctor Strange, is also pictured on the packaging, but as yet has not been released in any HMV stores. Wave 3 is coming out in the next few weeks, which features Infinity War Bucky, which was formerly issue 96, Endgame Captain America, which was issue 108, Racing Suit Tony Stark, which was issue 65, and Drax, which was issue 9. And here's where things get crazy. Issue 120 Rocket Raccoon and issue 4 Thor are also getting released, but as specials. That's right, $25.99 each. These are not special figures. They are the same size as the others. Thor, maybe he's a little bit bigger because of the cape, but Rocket is even actually a little smaller than some of the others. I'm not sure if this is Hero Collector just trying to get away with this or if this is HMV trying to get away with this, but it is a colossal ripoff, an £11 markup on both of them. And what's more, they're both readily in stock from Eagle Moss at £14.99. 
I feel very sorry for anyone that gets caught out by this. Do not buy these two from HMV. They will cost you £22 more for the two of them. Just buy them from Eagle Moss. You'll get a better magazine. It'll arrive quicker uh, and you won't be ripped off. HMV have indicated themselves that this line is going to grow further, so I'd expect to see some more big hitters coming soon. Perhaps Scarlet Witch, Vision, Gamora and Star-Lord are noticeably absent, Wasp as well in future waves. But you could, of course, just buy them right now from the Eagle Moss website if they're in stock. So it's very clear they're targeting casual buyers for these rather than seasoned collectors. Are they worth it? Yes and no. The 1699 ones, if you buy them in person, they're not actually much of a ripoff because the delivery charge to get them from Eagle Moss would put them around the same price, if not a little bit more. So if you're keen to handpick the best paint job on the shelf and want the fun of finding them in a store, they're absolutely fine. And the boxes do look cool. I imagine they're quite hard to store because they're considerably bigger, but they do look cool. But in the cases of Thor and Rocket, of course, where they've blurred the lines as to what is a special and what isn't, stay well clear. Do yourself a favour and buy them for £11 cheaper from the Eagle Moss website. The other thing, though, about them being in HMV is some of the original issues. I'm thinking about Team Groot, about Wasp, about Iron Spider. They are always out of stock. So if they get a release, actually, this might be a good way for you to fill in gaps in your collection if you're still waiting, for example, for Iron Spider to be restocked on the Eagle Moss web shop, you can just go to an HMV store and just buy the figure. And if you don't mind that the box is going to be slightly different, then you've got it there and then, and it's nice and easy to do. So it does have that going for them as well. And there you have it. Nothing new aside from the packaging. I hope that answers a lot of questions. And as always, if you want me to cover anything else specifically, drop me a message on Instagram, on Facebook, or right here on YouTube. And I'm always happy to help out. So what do you think? Do you like the fact that the collection is also getting a re-release in a slightly different way? Or do you think that that just confuses everything and you just want to stick with the normal ones from the Eagle Moss shop? And maybe you've bought some from HMV. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. As always, keep on collecting.